Welcome to Rokani Media Football and this is All Done Deals show in there for you and it's hosted by your favorite on this show who goes by the names of Rokani David in there for you smash the like button comment and share and if you're watching us for the very first time endeavor to go into the lower right bottom corner smash the subscription button after smashing it hit the notification bell that will enable you get notified each and every time I upload a video onto this channel. I go by the names of Rock and Dave Need, and this is the channel that brings you all your sports news in the afternoon. Now, today, every Sunday morning, we will be coming in here and really bringing you all done deals. This is the first episode. Just know that every week we are really going to be compiling all done deals and bringing them to you here onto this channel in there for you. Might be having it twice a week, Wednesday and Sunday, because you might find that between Monday. And Wednesday, very many deals can be accomplished accomplished in between. So we are here waiting to see what more deals are really going to be happening in there for you. Straight without further ado, we go to the deal that really came to happening yesterday and it was confirmed by Los Angeles FC official confirmed Gareth Bell joins Los Angeles FC on a free transfer on a one-year deal. Deal completed, new chapter. That is for British Romano. When you look at Gareth Bell. He really came in he really came in from the championship and was signed by Tottenham Hotspur way back um when was it don't remember very well the Spurs signed him but at his spell at Spurs he started playing as a left back remember by then there was there was Song Hyun who was playing as a left back for Spurs they had signed him from PSG remember he was in PSG playing with Park Jin Sung as Park Jin Sung crossed to Manchester United this lad, this left back of South Korea, crossed the side, which goes by the names of Tottenham Hotspur. Gareth Bell came in, started playing as a left back because of his pace and skill. Harry Redknapp moved him further to play as a left winger, and that's where he really made miracles. And the match that everyone will never forget is that game against Inter Milan. Single-handedly, using his pace, Spurs were a man down. Inter Milan had people like Schneider, Samuel Eto, I think by then was Samuel Eto. Yeah, I, my, I think it was there. Uh, Zanetti, they had Javier Zanetti. They had very, very the militos of this world. It was a very strong side, and Spurs needed to go on and really win that game. And then he went ahead to score a hat trick, but a hat trick was a single-handed hat trick. All a solo effort and hat trick. He got the ball from the half of Spurs, laid the ball into space, and Gareth Bell burst into space. He burst into space like we've never seen before, and he scored the hat trick. Again, as a side which goes by name to Inter Milan, and they really neglect and they, 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 they kicked them out of the Champions League. After that season, United was so much interested in Gareth Bell, and Real Madrid was so much interested in Gareth Bell, but they had all they all had 80 million pounds to spend on him and guess what he chose real madrid over manchester united and ever since then he has been at real madrid he has won five champions league trophies at real madrid remember in 2014 when they beat atletico madrid when they beat liverpool when they beat um real madrid beat liverpool by three goals to one they beat atletico madrid by two by three goals to one remember ronaldo scoring gareth bell was on the score sheet uh, they beat liverpool to one um they beat juventus 4-1 um, and in 2018 2018 which team did they beat because they won 2016 2017 2018 and that's when ronaldo left left a side which goes by names of real madrid but gareth bell has won five even the recent one where they beat liverpool in the final they've won five five champions league trophies in there for you so gareth bell has really has really left the spanish la liga and is out of europe and he's going to mls that's where he's going to play major league soccer in the united states of america in there for you the reason that's why the deck stars that side is simple they really want to get people love the game and i think it's paying off because their stadiums are really trying to get full with supporters of these teams then gareth bell should also be credited and he is really he's really enjoying one of the finest years of his career because he helped his team wells his national team wells to reach the world cup Qatar. and he's also going to feature in there very well and i think that's why they decided to go into an mls too, because there is no more there there is no much pressure he will play with ease and pace no risks of really him getting injured because it's not all that 
a physicality league. So he's going to that side and wish him the best there for you. That is a player who goes by the names of of Gareth Bell. So America MLS, welcome Gareth Bell. We go to our second deal completed. Deal completed. Terry Malasia to join Olympic Marseille. As revealed yesterday, full agreement between clubs for 15 million pounds, 15 million euros, permanent deal from Feyenoord. Five-year deal agreed with Malasia. Here we go. Feyenoord are closing in Ian Madsen deal with Chelsea as replacement in there for you. That is Fabrizio Romano again reporting that Malasia has completed his move to a side which goes by the names of the side which goes by the names of Olympic Lyon. So this deal has been so much in the news and Malasia was so much linked to Manchester United that Eric Ten Hag admired him because he was playing in Feyenoord and Feyenoord was playing the Eredivisie, that is the league that Ten Hag was, was managing there as an Ajax manager or gaffer. And he really loved him and he felt like United should go in and get him. But United failed to pay 15 million euros and United have lost out on this lad. So very touching in there for you. But I don't really believe that United, however much in the discussions, but it was not something that United wanted. 15 million euros. If United really wanted that player, they would have paid that money. They would have paid it because they have it. Because they have it. Because they know even selling one of the left backs they have at Manchester United, they can raise that money. That is Alex Telles. Put Alex Telles on the market. You can get 15 million euros. Barcelona are interested in him. The Italian side are interested in him. And so I really believe that Manchester United was not so much interested into that position because United is so much interested into the central midfield and a central defender. Those are the signings that United are really chasing at right now in there for you. But Malasia, wish him all the best. We are really going to see him maybe in the UEFA Europa League or Champions League in there. And we'll see whether he is really that quality that people are really talking about him. You know, when I see a play on YouTube, it's not enough. It's not enough. I really want to see the stats and I really want to see him play physically because YouTube, they just compile the best of this player and they don't really compile the worst of their player. I really wish, I really wish they would show us the worst when he's being humiliated because he's a left back and showing us him when he's being going, go, him being doing the best that people refer him to. So that's my worry onto those, onto the YouTube compilations. But stats never lie. He's really a very good left back, young, playing for the Netherlands national team and he might go to the World Cup. And United are really having a very bad problem with their former boss, Louis Van Gaal. The way they parted ways really hurted Louis Van Gaal to an extent that he first advised Eric Ten Hag not to join Manchester United. That Manchester United is not a football club, it's just a brand. You get? Then later, he told Julian Timber, if you go to Manchester United and you don't play week in, week out, I'm not going to pick you. I'm not going to take you to Qatar. Yet, there is a player who goes by the name of Nathan Ake, who doesn't play any football at Man City, but he's always a regular into his callings of the national team squad. So it shows you that there is really bad blood between Louis Van Gaal and Manchester United. But Malaysia confirmed Dan Hill, he has joined Lyon in there for you. Then you have another player, Mustan, Ian Mustan, and Feyenoord is looking at him and they really want to close a deal with Chelsea. You know, Chelsea is the team that has most players on loan. So I think they've now decided to go on and sell. So Ian Mustan from Chelsea, look upon that deal. It's going to really happen and he's going to go and replace Malaysia at a side which goes by the names of Feyenoord in there. For you go to the next story, Steve Bootman, remember we told you that here we go, had been announced and now almost the final part of a deal to be accomplished is here. Steven Bootman will travel to Tennessee, that is Newcastle Alley next week, together with his agents. Medical has already been booked. Newcastle will pay 37 million euros with add-ons. Paperwork's completed. Newcastle negative feelings around a TK deal. Newcastle definitely not happy with the situation in there for you. So, Steve Bootman to Newcastle is done. A medical is going to be done. When you hear that, it's, uh, when you hear that a deal has reached at medical level, just know everything has been done. Personal terms have been agreed. Mm, cash that is a, it's supposed to exchange hands from one team to another has been agreed then what is left is the medical if i told you fail the medical the deal collapses then if i told you go in and bring in the best out of the medical 
the paperwork is signed. So we expect a player who goes by the name of Steve Boltman to join a side which goes by the name of Newcastle, one of the talented centre backs that has been wanted by AC Milan and very many other clubs. But finally, Newcastle look like they have a better deal to they have a better deal on the table for for a side where this lad is coming in from France and then the player himself, the money that has been put on the table is really so much convincing. Newcastle again are not convinced with a Kitike, a Kitike deal. A Kitike is a centre forward who is being looked at Newcastle for a very long time and we are waiting to see where that deal is really going to end in there for him. All in all, this deal will come to happening, but Newcastle are so much, so much angered by how the French side where this HTK young guy, 19 years old, is playing from, is really making this deal luck to this live move in there for you. Smash the like button, comment and share, and if you're totally watching us for the very first time, endeavor to go into the lower right bottom corner, smash the subscription button after smashing it, hit the notification bell that will enable you to get notified each and every time I upload a video onto this channel. We move on. Taku Minamino, you know him very well. Taku Minamino, they sent him from a Red Bull sales bag. That is from the side of, I think, is it Australia? Yes, there after Liverpool was playing that RB Leipzig side, it was Red Bull, and then they really sat them down. Taku Minamino destroyed Virgil van Dijk, destroyed the Jogomes of this world, and it came to the mind of the Mugafa of Liverpool, Jagged Klopp, and he said, I need that player at Liverpool. Then when he came in at Liverpool, he failed to go to come directly into the first team of Liverpool. Previous season, he was loaned at Southampton. He played very well and then he was retained at Liverpool. And being retained at Liverpool, he saved them, I think, in one game where they were going to be knocked out of the Carabao. Was it the Carabao Cup? I think it was the Carabao Cup. Was it the semi-final or quarter-final? He came on and really scored goals that really saw Liverpool proceed to the finale in there for you but Liverpool feel like he has no more space at Liverpool because lots of players have coming through Liverpool has brought in has brought Dewey Nunes they're having Luis Diaz and now everything is known in the hands of Taku Minamino and they've sold him at 15 million euros plus add-ons amounting to 20 million euros to a side which goes by the names of Olympic Lyon in France in there for you so sorry Monaco so Taku Minamino completed He's joining AS Monaco, permanent move from Liverpool now, confirmed by Felipe Clemente. We are all, we are real happy he was a priority. Liverpool will receive 15 million euros plus 3 million in add-ons. In there for you, a deal will amount close to 20 million euros or between 18 and 20, as reported by Fabrizio Romano in there for you. So, Taco Minamino has left Liverpool. He has gone in for AS Monaco. So, we wish him all the best. And I really believe he's going to go on and do well in that side because he is really a talented player. And he is really so much good, especially going forward. And he's a press-resistant player in that Tino. Now, we complete or we end this story with two deals. Juventus have all people are ready to announce the comeback of Paul Ebede Pogba at the beginning of July. It's done deal for salary around 8 million euros net per season plus add-ons. Juve are still waiting for Angel Di Maria to answer after final proposes in their voice. So, I came in here and did this. I did it yesterday. Sort of Paul Pogba. It's a here we go that Paul Pogba has agreed personal terms with Juventus. Everything is done. And now, all what is left is Paul Pogba to go into the medical and sign the paperwork in their way because it's prepared. And this player is expected to go to a side which goes by the names of Juventus after going out of Manchester United or leaving United on a free and is a free agent in there for you. So that is Paul Bile Pogba in there for you, a player who is playing for Juventus and is going to be donning a Juventus jersey next season. And remember, he was here from 2013, from, 2013, from 2012 to 2016. That's when United resigned him back at 100 million euros. Then after... They've gone ahead to lose him on a free after spending six years at United earning £290,000 a week of which his his presence at Manchester United was not felt because he only won a UEFA Europa League, a Carabao Cup and a Community Shield, I think. Only those. His presence was not being felt at Manchester United, Paul Ebede Pogba. Now, after the Paul Ebede Pogba, Juventus are really waiting for Angelo Di Maria to come in and sign those papers because he's a free agent from PSG. But very many other teams are really looking at him. Even Barcelona is looking at Angelo Di Maria, and that deal is one is the one to watch. If at all Angelo Di Maria decides to go to Barcelona, 
how is it going to be when he goes back at the at the Santiago Bernabeu when he's playing in the El Clasico? The last player who really played in the El Clasico was Luis Figo and he had left Barcelona and crossed to Real Madrid. And while at the Camp Nou in Barcelona, they threw they threw a head of a pig to him when he was really going to bring a corner in there for you. So we wait and see how how Angelo Di Maria is going to be welcomed at Real Madrid in there for you. But we wait for that deal and let's wait and see. Is he joining Juventus or Barcelona? But according to Fabrizio, it looks like Di Maria to Juventus is so close in there as Fabrizio really comes out and recommends that a deal is up to happening in here for you. So those are the deals we've been talking about. And very many others have been done. Fabio Vieira to Arsenal, Matt Turner to Arsenal, mm, which other deal? Marquinhos to Arsenal, Haaland to Man City, Doe Nunes to Liverpool, mm, which other deal? Um, this this player of Manchester United, Dean Henderson has crossed side from Manchester United to Nottingham on Nottingham Forest on loan. In there for you. Uh, Sadio Mani has gone to a side which goes by the names of Bayern Munich. In there for you. So that's the first episode of all our done deals in there for you as it's headlined by gareth bell joining a side which goes by the names of angels galaxy fc in america i sign out for now see you later happy sunday good morning good afternoon good evening it depends where you're watching us from because this channel is watched widely from all corners of the world that's the blessing that god gave us and we really call for a blessing from the lord in the mighty name of jesus christ let him protect you in the blood of jesus christ i'm out and we're going to return back in like one or two hours with an arsenal story